Andy wants Jonah's A's here from the Automator. And uh, the other day I was thinking up this would be really cool. Sometimes you want to be able to graph some data in an auto hotkey. In V1, there was a GDI version, but here is A's is showing you on the screen here. Um, an idea of that we put together of just using a progress bar, a simple progress bar and a little bit of um, some fun stuff, but we made it very simple to use in a GUI uh, class or is it fu just functions, huh? Right. Um, to yeah, make it this one's simple function, yeah. Yeah, to, to use. So um, you can, you can decide on the color, like we have some default colors, but of course you can swap those out. Right. But so the, the code is really simple, and especially when you want to use it. So let me show this one. And um, this is basically what it looks like. You create a map, for example, with key value pairs. One of them is the title of the item, and the next one is the value it will have. And the only thing you have to do is call the create bar chart function with the map that you just created and a title. And if you don't like using maps, you can also do the same, but instead of a map, you can use a string of text, a normal piece of text that is separated by, again, key value pairs. One is the title of the element that you want to display and the number on the right side, and then separated by commas. The numbers are divided by the columns and stuff. That's it. So either or, however you prepare, and when you run the script, it just looks like this. So then the function itself automatically picks the highest number, in this case, 200. And then all the other bars are representations of a percentage of that highest value. So when we have 100 in this context, then it means that it's the half of the highest value because the highest value is 200 and so on and so forth. And then we uh, created a separate example in which you can have multiple charts in one GUI, which um, there was another example here. Um, here, It created a few charts, and they're all embedded on the main GUI. And now when you click Next, it just shows you the next chart and so on. So basically, very interesting um, way of using child children you know of a GUI to have multiple charts embedded on the main one and then whenever you press one of the buttons it just picks one and shows it so really great stuff you can change the colors of Joe said and it was really simple it's just the idea of hey you have a, a control in our hotkey that could be used to represent data awesome right and the trick, the biggest trick here was that one of the things that you can change on the progress control is the background color. And if you make the background color the same color as the GUI where you had it, then you see it as transparent, basically, is basically what's going on. This actual box, the actual size is this, is the same size as the others, right? The only difference is that there's a section of it that we just made it the same color as the GUI. And that's the reason why it creates this um, uh, illusion that the, the bar is not taking the whole space, that's all. So it was a very interesting approach without us relying on the GDI library, if you don't know about GDIs and stuff. So for you, it's just a matter of having the data and calling the function like this. And as I mentioned before, like there's some other um, parameters that you can change, like the header text, the footer, the footer text, the width, the background color, and so on and so forth. Okay, so one of the other things that you can do with this is to determine how the values are displayed. So in here, for example, we have the actual values, 201, 57, 100, and so on. One of the parameters that the function has, um, which is pretty useful in certain situations, is uh, to display whether you want to display values, which is the default, which is a B for values, or if you want to display a P for percentage. And that, when I put that parameter in, what happens with it is when I run it, now this displays this top value as 100%, and every other uh, value is just a percentage representation of their 
actual values of the top one comparison to the top right. right so at this point you can see that you can either display it as percentages if you wanted to or if you wanted to display them as actual values you can do so as well it's really great actually helps a lot with with showing certain data in your program in a way that makes sense to you yeah if maybe later we decide there's a need for it we could also provide a value that is used as the max but isn't part of the graph because sometimes you might say hey you know i don't want to actually show the 100 you know i want to have an arbitrary value i set there and do this stuff and have it all compared to that um that's something we could yeah. consider but again this is meant to be a simple tool simple bar charts right to show this stuff so I think that's pretty yeah. cool that now it's uh, able to show them as percentages, which we just yeah. added a minute ago because I was like, hey, that, you know, why not make that a functionality? Yeah. So, but it's very simple, very easy to use. And, right. uh, and it's all built into auto hotkey. So there's no external libraries that you need to do this. Right. Exactly. So if you want to learn more about creating GUIs and stuff, not that we have that in our course, but we have a great mm. Proto GUIs course that helps you learn how to create and manipulate GUIs in auto hotkey. I do talk about the bar, the progress bar control, which is what we were using here. So it might give you a good idea of how to do exactly what we did. Cool. So please like the video. If you learned something there, you can go ahead and get that. It, as we mentioned the other day, everything now on an automator is at least a dollar just because we're, we're cleaning up email addresses and other things. So, uh, but you can grab that code there if you wish. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye guys.